Today I have two unboxings for you from Portland Leather Goods. I have two handbags and maybe three small goods. I don't remember. These are in a similar colorway and I'm going to show you a couple of other items I have that are in a similar colorway so that you can see them side by side. And hopefully not only will this help you to make a decision on whether you might like the things that I'm unboxing, but also figure out which of these colors that are all very similar might be best for your taste. So stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Now, both of these boxes I did order directly from Portland Leather Goods, and I can't guarantee that they're going to be in stock by the time you see this video. If not, you could very well find them on the resale market, and if I find any of them, I will link them below, and I certainly will have the bags and the small goods linked below for you. Let's start with the largest box which has one bag in it. I've already cut it open. I've actually already peeked at both of these, to be honest, because I've had them for about a week that I couldn't film because of other stuff going on, but I also could not just let them sit here unseen. So here we go. We have the little card and we have the bag. Now this bag, the color of this bag came available and it was only available, I believe, in this one particular size and style of bag, at least at this moment. It's my understanding this was a color that was available previously and then went away and then it was brought back in this one bag. So I don't know if there will be others available. And it's one I've never seen in person. So let's pull it out and see what we think and then compare it to another bag that I think will be a very similar color. And here it is. I'll bring it closer. Okay, that's really pretty. I have learned to really appreciate the pull up, the color variation. When I first was looking at Portland Leather Goods, that wasn't a thing I liked very much, but I love it now. It really grew on me. So this is the mini crossbody tote, and it's in the color Badlands. So this is a brown that has a lot of pull up. It's kind of a reddish brown, and it has a lot of darker places in it, like here and like here, where it even looks like it's been burned a little bit. The leather itself, you can tell, definitely has some grain and a lot of wrinkling, at least on this particular hide. And I think that does tend to be the case with Badlands. And this bag has a zipper. That was the only option, and I'm glad because I like zippers. I actually don't use the zippers very often, but I like having that option, especially since I'm moving to a place where it rains a lot. This leather, now that I have the stuffing out, it's, I wouldn't call this smushy. You can see that I'm moving around, but it's got a lot of structure to it. There's, it's, it's a thick leather. This is how the color looks on the inside. It's like a yellow red. The strap is kind of thick and stiff feeling. And I have to say too, having this in my hands, when I take my hands away, it feels a little bit grimy, like a little bit dusty. It also has an interesting smell. It doesn't smell like leather to me. It's something in the dye, I think, that I'm smelling. It's not bad and it's not overpowering, but it's not the leather smell that I'm used to from Portland Leather Goods. Now, what I want to compare this to is this, which very, very similar, right? This one is chestnut. And I have to say, the more I play with this, the more I'm not liking this leather. I love the look of it. I don't love the feel of it. It's just too thick for me, too stiff, and I don't like the way my hands feel after touching it. So here's Badlands, here's chestnut, just so you can see them side by side. Also, these two are so similar to each other, and I really prefer the chestnut over the Badlands, so I think what I'll do is just keep the chestnut and send the Badlands back. But at least you can see them together there. And there's the inside of the two bags, very similar. The chestnut here is a little bit more yellow. And this has more tooth to it. It has more, like the suede, grain, hairs, whatever, are a little longer. <sighs> All right, so we know Badlands is going back. Now let's see what's in this box. All right, so we know Badlands is going back. Now let's see what's in this box. I'm excited about this one. This is a bag and a color that I don't have yet. Open this up, looks like this. Now I have opened this one already. Like I said, I've opened the small goods so they're not wrapped up so pretty. 
Here's the little paper. Let's look at the small goods first because they're on top. There's this one and this is this. This is the long bifold wallet in the color eucalyptus. Right here it's stamped Portland leather goods. This is a smooth pretty supple leather and inside it looks like this. You have these two long pockets here. On this side you have a zip and two card slots and on this side you have three card slots on each side so six total. I was very conscious when I bought this wallet which I'd had my eye on for a while of getting a leather that I knew was going to be soft and supple and not super stiff because of the zipper because it's on a flat compartment I wanted to have a leather that would make it easier for me to get in and out of there whereas a stiffer leather it might be more difficult so you may want to keep that in mind if you pick up this wallet. Also, I've become a small wallet person, so getting a full size one is out of the box for me for the last many, many years. But this one is so thin that I thought it would be great to have in some of my bags. Like in these small bags, it can just stand up in there or it can fit this way and it won't take up all that much space. There's another small good here that I'm gonna wait to show you until after you see the bag. But I also have these two. These are both Daisy wallets. This one's in the color Indigo and this one is in the color Lagoon. I love everything Indigo, so that's why I picked this up. It's so pretty. I love the very subtle color variation. That's what it looks like inside. It's like a small Kirigami pouch. And then Lagoon, I've been wanting to get a bag in this color, but I wanted to see it in person first because they don't have bags I'm interested in on the website right now. So I'd have to buy it in the resale market and I wanted to check out the color in person before I invest in that because Lagoon's a popular color. That's so pretty inside, look at that color. And I didn't want to spend like $200 on a bag that I wasn't 100% sure about the color. So those are very pretty. I will say, be aware with these Daisy wallets, they look like they'd be a great card case. They're not in my experience. I put a few cards in here the other day and it comfortably, well, not even comfortably, barely fits three plastic cards. It looks like it would hold a bunch more than that, but it's smaller than it seems like it is. And even when I had the three in there, it was then difficult to get them back out. So I wouldn't buy these with the intention of putting cards in them. You may wanna have an alternative idea in mind if you're thinking about getting the Daisy wallets. All right, let's see what bag I got. I'm excited about this one because I don't have this bag yet and I've been wanting to get one, try one out, but I haven't known what color to get. And then this color popped up and I'm excited about it. I'm gonna bring it close because it's kind of a small bag as you can see. Okay, I don't even know if this is right side up yet. I see, yes it is. This is the toaster bag. Let me get it all undone here. There we go. This is the toaster bag, which is a camera bag as you can tell. And the color, does anybody out there have a guess on this? The color is lava. Isn't that exciting? So the toaster bag has this front slip pocket, which is really nice. I love this lava color, I think that's beautiful. It's got a fiery red tint to it, like an orange red, like a burnt orange. It has this long crossbody strap, which is adjustable. You have about a foot of adjustability there, and the straps are not detachable. So here's how this bag looks on me, and I have it about at the middle setting here. And what I really like about this, okay, this is something for us rounder women, sometimes wearing a small bag, especially a cross, small crossbody bag, I feel like on me at least can look awkward because, let me put it back on, this leather feels so much nicer than the Badlands did. It feels more silky and buttery. My hands feel better now. A lot of the times the strap will come together really close and when it, when it comes around your body, the strap's like this on you and I feel like that really accentuates the rest of you. But with this one, the way the straps are attached, it, it feels, looks more natural to me. Like it doesn't accentuate anything. It just looks like it's supposed to be like that. It looks like it, it looks good. It looks a lot better is what I'm saying. So if you are a rounder person and you have been wanting a small crossbody bag, but that is a concern of yours, this could be a really good bag for you. I get the stuffing out and let's look inside. We'll also compare this to some other colors and we'll see what that last small leather good is. All right, here's the interior on the lava. That is definitely more of a red color than the other ones that were more yellow. And on one wall, you have a slip pocket that takes up the whole side of the bag pretty much, just like the pocket on the outside. Those are on the same wall actually. No, they're not. 
This is on the front, that's on the back wall. Very nice, that is beautiful, I love it. Very happy. Oh, and also it has this leather tassel thing on the zipper pull. And this leather, if you couldn't tell, is a bit wrinkly, but it's also, it feels very smooth to the touch. It's nice. All right, here's lava next to Badlands. So you can see those are very similar in terms of the pull-up, but the lava has more red and red-orange in it, whereas the Badlands has more yellow in comparison. Here's lava next to chestnut. So lava definitely has a lot more pull up. Chestnut has a like a deep, rich red color overall. And then the lava has a little more black in it. And then something you may not have seen at all yet because I don't know which order these videos are going up in is this tote. This is the large classic tote and the color is Cinnamon Bear. Cinnamon Bear is a pebbled leather as you can see and it has more of a yellow interior and it has that pull up, that color variation. The lava has more color variation and is more orange in comparison to the cinnamon bear, which is more red. But those look pretty good together. Well, I guess the lava is maybe more brown, but also more orange. Nice. Now let's look at this one last small leather good that I got. And this I purchased pre-loved from the resale market. And it's this. This is the Adriana pouch. And can you tell what color it's in? You might be able to guess, you might not, because it's a little different. It's in lava. Let's see the inside of this pouch. Looks like that. So it's got that reddish interior, just like the toaster bag. And then here are the two together, so you can see the size comparison. I would not use this inside. This would go in bigger bags like that tote bag. But you can definitely tell how different the color is, and these are both lava. So there's a lot of variation between hides and different batches. This one's a lot more orange, and it has a lot more pull-up, and this one is much less subtle pull-up. It's still there, but you don't see it nearly as much as you do in that toaster bag. And that is my haul today. A bunch of wins and that one Badlands fail that's going back. And by the time you see this, it will have already shipped back, so don't worry about trying to buy it from me, sorry. Let me know what you think about these colors. Do you like pull-up, like you've seen in this video? Do you like it to be more subtle or more of an opaque color? Of these colors I showed you, the Badlands, the Chestnut, the Lava, and the Cinnamon Bear, which is your favorite. Also, be sure to check my links for Portland Leather Goods below so you can go pick up something for yourself. And make sure you check to see if their mystery boxes are in stock right now, because those are the things to get. They're so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.